And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Maokai Quinn. That's going to be, that's right, Maokai Quinn, putting them together. Um, this is going to be just kind of a mid-range deck that uh, is going to be really unique, and every single game is going to be unique. They're all going to be different. Um, there's not like a singular game plan that we're going for here. We're just going to, we're just going to be doing a lot of challenging, basically. We're going to have um, lots of challengers, whether it's like little birds or maybe saplings, you know, from Blighty Caretaker and Maokai. I'm kind of putting that all together. Laurent Chevalier is going to be making some more challengers for us. Um, and then with all this challenging, um, you know, maybe we can help control the board, stay alive. We'll, and uh, then, you know, have a lot of these challengers die. And we'll have Neverglade Collector be able to drain the Nexus. So that will help us stay alive. We'll be healing our Nexus quite a bit with Neverglade Collector. We'll also have some Nexus healing with the Wanderer. We'll also be tossing each time that these things are dying, whether it's Sea Scarab or Maokai, we're tossing. Uh, and maybe going towards leveling up Maokai, potentially. Or, you know, if we have Valor from Quinn, like with the Scout, you know, same with the Blinding Assault, maybe that helps level up Quinn. Who knows? We're just going to kind of put those stuff together, and, you know, maybe we win with Maokai, maybe we win with Quinn, maybe we win with Neverglade Collector, maybe we make some awesome challengers with Chevalier and win with those. Who knows? So let's just go ahead and give it a try and just kind of see what happens. Two uh, very underplayed champions and uh, putting them in a in a unique style deck. Maokai Quinn. We're going to go play five games just in normal as we're testing out this combination. Zareth Zillion. Okay. Playing against some landmarks. Uh, we don't have anything right now to kill with the Caretaker, but like that would be kind of nice to have with the Sea Scarab. I think I'll just send it back. I'm going to keep the Glimpse Beyond, though. I could see us wanting those extra cards in this matchup. All right, now a Caretaker would be nice. What's that noise? All right, so they're starting with Zillion. Now, then. If they block the Sea Scarab, that does get two damage on Zillion, and you know, we have all these different two power challengers, so it's not too bad. Zillion is a good card to despair because it doesn't have very much life. Or sorry, it doesn't have very much power. But I also... Okay, I'm going to hold on to... Hold on to spell mana right here. I'm going to play Chevalier, try to challenge Zillion with Chevalier. But anyway, I, I probably need to kill, like, Xerath with this Despair. But just in case, I want to have Sharp Sight Protect Chevalier just in case. Cool. Make some more challenges. And next time it strikes, we're going to make some more challengers. Ages. Take a look at this. We also have Mage Seeker Conservator. They can just make some like awesome uh, spells for us. I don't know what they're going to be, but they could be awesome. Probably challenging the th oh, man. It's kind of rough. Hey, we got a donation deck. Awesome. From Hug and Stone. Watch all your stuff from YouTube. Really appreciate your videos. Thought I should give something, and here's the deck I'd like to see fixed. 
Nami, Teemo, and Jinx. Alright, awesome. That's getting us closer to our cosmetics goal. Up to 86 now. Still heart, steady aim. Okay, anyway. Back to the game. So, the problem I have with killing the Endless Devout right now, like during the scout attack, is that if we kill it during the scout attack, then they can play Desert Naturalist. And Desert Naturalist would be a big problem for us. I want to be a second, second attack for Quinn. He did some good work, Chevaly. That's also a problem. <laughs> it's like, we play Sharp Sight, draw a new Sharp Sight. Let's play Sharp Sight, draw a new Sharp Sight. I want to sharp sight the conservator and block. I don't want to sacrifice Quinn, because Quinn's close to leveling up, but also very close to dying. That's far enough. Uh, maybe we do just sacrifice Quinn. Collectors down. Of course, gonna die to the time bomb anyway. Hate it, man. Pokey stick is good. Found out, guys. That worked out pretty well for them. You know, now the Zillion's already. Um, already won. Please, no Zareth. Please, no Zareth. Killer. Nothing will stand in my way. Give them room to spread their leaves. Oh, that kills Maokai. I was thinking it was going to be killing these other things that kills Maokai. The oasis of the dawn flows again. Not in my city. out cards pretty soon, but I was really definitely hoping to level up Maokai and get rid of their deck. Oh, the Arsenal. Good hand opponent. Good deck. Alright, GG's.
Those pokey sticks really hurt too. Multiple times we had to like use Sharp Sight to trade with Pokey Sticks, so where that's just such a good trade for them because they get to draw the card. Need their Sharp Sights later. Hugging Sean, thank you so much. Yeah, glad glad to have you here. Um, do you have a... Okay, is your deck for, for ranked or meme tier for normal? And do you have a specific day that you want your deck played? Yeah, it won't be today. But do you have a different day you'd like it played? Alright, so yeah, you finished your first expedition with seven wins. The second one, you can still play... You don't need to retire. You can still play, so you get Nothing you get more X. You're not going to get any extra prizes for it, but you get more XP. So you can still get it for the more XP and for practice also. So you don't have to you know pay for a new expedition. So it's up to you. You can either retire because you're not going to get more prizes, or you can play and get the practice and get extra XP. Yeah, and just have fun with it. So I'm wasting two mana. Yeah, our hope sense says I guess yeah, I guess you can join and concede and give away free wins to the opponents. I guess you can do that as well. If that's something you feel like doing. You can, that's an option. Things are not really lining up for us so far. Keep your eyes on the horizon and your feet on the ground. Not in the slightest. Lovely day for a battle. Really hoping this Neverglade collector can put in a lot of work. plus uh, four mana for protection spells or fly to caretaker plus six it's caretaker all right not a very good spell that's definitely a below average spell both of those. Man, our opponents... 
Like, most people don't even play Flash Free, so that was definitely the best possible card they could have, and most people don't even play that card because you play three sisters. But, yeah, I mean, I guess they had it. I have to do this before... I, obviously, I'd like to scout attack, but we have to do this before they can play something that levels up their Lissandra. Okay, that just kills Quinn. Just draining three. Um, I think I just let all that happen. I want to be able to save Neverglade Collector later. Probably Shade's not the best hit. Definitely wanted one of the five drops. Oh, want to keep these for Neverglade. Yes, yeah, so we got six mana, a little bit better than Decimate. But this is a lot of a lot of damage coming in here on an open attack, I guess. pretty dead. Again, it's just <laughs> these finishes are just, you know, dealing you know, when you're at like later in the game and you're at, you know, basically full life and then they just kill you out of nowhere. This is like the third game, like Arsenal, Dawn and Dusk, Thralls, third, third game in a row. It's just not much to do about it. It's exact zero. It's not like like this doesn't do anything. Oh, it says negative one now. Oh, because because it, it doesn't die, so we don't. Yeah. It's hard when you can't get above twenty to deal with you know twenty four overwhelm, like right after a blighted ravine. after Ice Shard plus Blighted Ravine, then deal t with 24 Overwhelm when you can only be at 20. That's, that's a tough ask. Tough ask to deal with. Ezreal Sejuani. Alright, Nasher, have a, have a good day at work.
Watch and learn. <laughs> this would have been a good sharp sight matchup. I wish we had all like I wish these were all sharp sights. Card obviously dies. At least we're keeping them from getting a target. Glimpse Beyond is good against Ezreal in that respect. These caretakers haven't looked very good. Bye, Saigumba. I think I really mind Quinn dying. He uses my mana pretty well to, to play this. I guess my play is Maokai plus Sea Scarab. These isles will be cleansed. Give them room to spread their my best card in my deck. Sharp side, they're just it's not like that we toss both of them, it's just that both of them were at the very bottom, right? So we wouldn't have drawn them anyway. But that's that really hurts the knowing that both of them were at the bottom. Considering that's the best card of my deck against Ezreal. It keeps things alive. And oh cool, Neverglade Collector, my second best card in my deck. And then obviously you get to block Ezreal with it. We have all of our best cards at the bottom. Oh, Despair, that card's great against Ezreal. Okay, well. You know. I guess that's how it's gonna be. You own what you take. Try to keep it alive. Or at least we get we still get those. That's good. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Wow, no attack from the Sedwani. That's a lot of damage that we get to save. That's really good. Uh, come on. Five away from deep. Okay. So we're not gonna get deep anyway, even you know. I wonder why that other one that we just tossed it two away from deep.
Alright, let's drain him out. Drain him out. Neverglade Collector. Can pick up a win? Oh, Frostbite. Okay, that's still us doing... Uh, you know, like, these two die. So that's two. And then attack for three. That still puts them down to three. That's not too bad. Down to three with us having a Neverglade Collector. About to level up Maokai and obliterate most of their deck too. Tossing all of our cards isn't always the best strategy against puff caps, but they have been pretty slow with puff caps. It's actually looking really good for us. I think we're going to get this one. Saplings would be really, really strong at 3-1. I think they could be oppressively good at 3-1. We don't. I don't want to take Nexus damage. I don't care if the Sea Scarab dies. I just don't want to take Nexus damage. Golden Ages, another rally. I think we got this. They grow up so fast. I probably should have the Sea Scarab attacking first. I want it to die before we. I don't really want to toss more cards. Yeah, I can't. I can't see them winning this. All right, one and two. That's what our deck's supposed to do: use Neverglade Collector, Saplings, put a lot of pressure on them, go wide, drain their Nexus. We even started off slowly in this one, but we show the power of our top end. I talk bad about those caretakers, and then the caretakers <laughs> were a big part of us winning those games. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, there's not any specific combo that we want with this deck. It's just kind of grind them out with challengers and Neverglade. There's no specific combo that we're looking for. I'm just going to keep Glimpse Beyond because it's all kind of always good to keep Glimpse Beyond. Yeah, exactly. I had to talk smack to the Blighted Caretaker so he'd start doing his job. <laughs> exactly. No landmark remo removal in here. We're not killing this uh, Sun Disk. Yeah, 
those sharp sights are so good. Why do we always have to have sharp sight at the bottom of our deck? This is obviously attacking. Do I trade 3-2 for 2-2? Two, two? I guess so. Guess not. Hey, Charles. I think we're going Quinn next round. We have one of these. We Demacians are no easy prey. Um, one of these champions is gonna be pretty big. Now my shovely challenges the four two. Just like hunting for Not to you. Cool. Swift wing lancer. We got made a good one. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. I don't know, probably could. Maybe let me level up Quinn. Scouting ahead. Just like hunting pressure geese. No one escapes my aim. Level up Quinn. We get the birdies. Still heart, steady aim. We're not done yet. Get him, Quinn. Quinn being awesome. Alright, so we'll get a couple of sand soldiers. Alright, that'll do. GG's will have the, you know, the bird and the other bird. I guess both birds do the challenging. Quinn Great. hits their nexus. Now let's get back out there. Quinn with Golden Ages is pretty sweet. Probably need to play more Quinn plus Golden Ages. Alright, we got another landmark deck. We did lose the landmarks earlier. They had the arsenal. That was a problem. Oh, 
This guy looks fine. I can also see doing this, though. We'll just do this. <laughs> Rural Spirit says, uh, ever have, you know, just kind of talking with chat, ever have those days where you just keep getting bad hands? And Scorby says, you're asking me if I've, if I've, if I've ever played Rune Terra. <laughs> They probably play something else right here, right? Uh, endless Devout. There you are. What a shame for you. What's up, Strength in Numbers? Come, come this way. Endless Devout is oh, awesome. Man, that card really wrecked us the first time we played against this deck. It's just so awkward to play against. This card's very strong. We're gonna be playing Twisted Zigs up next. That's gonna have these endless devouts in it. I will tend this garden. Many hands, Malkai. Because you want the endless devouts to die. Are you ready? <laughs> improve stuff it. whenever it does. Boom. 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 All right. So Neverglade or Caretaker. I guess Quinn. Yeah, I guess we do. We Demacians are no easy prey. Golden Ages. We could strengthen numbers next round. While I'd like to play Neverglade, we don't have the mana to Neverglade plus for post, and also Neverglade gets Roiling Sands, which isn't fantastic. I th think we Wanderer. It's either Wanderer or Caretaker, but I probably want to save the Caretaker for an offensive turn. Protect our grove. Mark's getting killed are just good for them. It's our time to shine, Valor. Yeah, Redoubled Valor. Redoubled Valor is a cool Demacia card. Um, but Scorpio asked, anybody ever tried Redoubled Valor plus Poppy? I'm glad they didn't kill Quinn. A little boom, and one really big one. What can we do? I haven't, I haven't tried that. I haven't played against that combo either.
just like, how do I kill that one? I think I have to keep her post available this round to protect Quinn. So that means we're looking at uh, six other mana, which, you know, means we can't double spell with anything. Oh man, that's a killer. have it's risky but we could play we could play the chevalier this round Gotta survey the battlefield. Gentlemen, lady. but it's risky because now i don't have repost but if they have the deal four damage card it's really risky hopefully they don't i think we have to kind of get a little risky here So now we want to go you, you, uh, I guess you, you, you. Alright, that wasn't ideal. You know, we just cha traded the Chevalier for these Bomber Twins, that's not ideal. we can survive that, right? That's so much overwhelm damage. Well, maybe... Alright, Neverglade. It's with the most health. All right, make that block, we go to four. I can rep I can repost the Quinn, and it kills the Quinn. We'll make this block, or and it kills the Ziggs. We go to two. Bad for the home team. Herald of the Magus with Ziggs and Talia is just great. They just really had... They have the dream hand. Like, this is exactly what you dream of happening in this deck. It's just if you could... If you could ever, you know, have... Yeah, like... That's it's the complete dream scenario. So, good game. It's exactly what you want the deck to do if you're lucky enough to have it happen. Now, so I needed I needed the Everglade to block there so that or the never I need the Neverglade to block there so that whenever we repost we could kill the Ziggs because we had to kill the Ziggs because the Ziggs was gonna be doing all that damage. They just had another Ziggs. We had to do that. 
Okay, so we went two and three with Maokai Quinn. We got to do a couple of games where we got to show off um, Quinn, especially leveled up Quinn. I liked the Quinn plus Golden Ages. That part of our deck looked pretty cool. And of course, an Everglade Collector definitely looked good also. So our two five drops looked good. Uh, a lot of our earlier stuff wasn't too impactful. Uh, it didn't really, like Dead Bloom Wanderer didn't look so good. I think maybe we could do a little bit better there. Maybe this should be like Laurent Protégé. And just kind of go farther into the challenger part. You know, play like that. Bright Steel Protector. That kind of stuff. Like, Blinding Assault's not a very good card, <laughs> honestly. Uh, yeah, maybe that could just be, you know, no no Aristocrat, no Blinding Assault, no Dead Bloom Wanderer. Like, Caretaker was good at times. But yeah, maybe it should just be like Fleet Feather Tracker, Bright Steel Protector, Laurent Protégé. All that kind of stuff. I could see that too. All right, anyway, there we go. Maokai Quinn had some cards that we don't usually use, and we picked up a couple of wins, but those landmark decks were a little rough, especially just the 3-mana the three 3-3. Uh, that card is incredible, and both landmark decks really had, um, you know, ideal hands of exactly what they wanted their decks to look like. All right, so there we go. That's going to be Maokai Quinn. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know how y'all like the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed seeing some different champions put together that we don't usually see play. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it. But that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.